Hello guys and welcome to another flight here on this channel. Today I'll be flying the IXCG Boeing 737. I'll be flying it for United from Las Vegas to San Francisco. It's a relatively short hop, only about an hour of flight time. And as you can see on the route here, I'll be taking a rather tortuous path from uh, Las Vegas over to San Francisco doing this kind of a crooked S shape. And the reason for that is because that there's a lot of uh, restricted airspace to the north and west of Las Vegas, so basically aircraft that are flying on a weekday, they have to take this rather narrow passageway in order to be able to penetrate the Air Force, uh, the training space used by Nellis Air Force Base and, and Edwards Air Force Base. So these large areas here are basically what's used for things like Red Flag and uh, their training, the Area 51 is located near Nellis Air Force, not far from Nellis Air Force Base. And it's used for all manner of military exercises and crazy experiments. And so we got to sort of thread our way through that. And that for to that end, the FAA has set up this sort of corridor so we don't have to fly all around it all the time. So that's our route. Looking at our detailed route, we'll be flying the uh, Shed Night Departure to Keno then direct Rossmi and over into the Diamond 2 arrival and I expect we'll be arriving on runway 28 right. Our loadout today is not too heavy, we've got 116 passengers and 1.5 and tons of general cargo. The computer fuel requirement is about 6 tons, we got an alternate at uh, Sacramento as is usual when we're flying into San Francisco. The weather is really nice, we got uh, a little bit of cr southern uh, gusty winds c from coming in, coming out of uh, Las Vegas. We got one, winds is one six zero twelve, gusting eighteen, about uh, ten miles visibility, clear skies, very hot, thirty six degrees, and minus three degrees on dew point. So, so the air is fairly dry. Also got some low pressure there, and given that. Uh, Las Vegas is 2,000 feet above sea level. It is going to affect our takeoff performance, but not enough to make us worry very much because uh, we've got very long runways over in Las Vegas. Coming into San Francisco, we expect the winds to be pretty much along the runway, 290 at 13 knots or 13 knots, 10 mile visibility, few clouds at 817 degrees, 10 degrees Celsius on the dew point. And uh, overall, we expect the weather to remain somewhat uh, windy and gusty, but it should be mostly along, aligned with the runway, so no problem there. Sacramento is reporting almost no wind, some variable at 4 knots, and clear skies 21 degrees, so pretty much no problem for us. And the forecast there also says better than uh, 6 miles visibility and sky clear. I'll skip over the node M's here. The only important one is node M... Uh, uh, 1963 slash 15 which is for the Diamond 2 arrival and I want us to change an altitude restriction at waypoint basically the Diamond 2 arrival normally ends at Archie at 7000 feet to set you up for the ILS and this NOTAM notifies us that we'll be, we have to change the altitude constraint to 8000 in order to make sure that we can basically they want us to keep uh, keep us away from the ground a little bit longer to make it easier for us to execute a steeper and less uh, power hungry approach that will allow us to uh, basically uh, glide in longer and uh, it's pretty much for noise abatement and environmental concerns. So looking at the threats there in the weather chart there's almost nothing, well, pretty much nothing on there we have clear skies, no wind shear, no turbulence, no icing, nothing reported along the way. We will we'll have a little bit of a tail a headwind of about on average 30, 40 knots at flight level 340. We'll see about that. Uh, we are well below the tropopause, so there should be no massive changes in uh, wind direction or any kind of turbulence expected. That's it for the flight plan and that's it for the brief here and we can step over into the aircraft to see you there.